Hi Scorpio, I hope that you guys are all doing great. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to your September love reading. So today we're going to take a look and see what kind of energy is coming in for your love life this month. Could be who's coming towards you, what are things going to be like for you, maybe even advice to you from spirit. Um, with whatever comes through, just know that I only wish you guys all the best in your love life. If you're new to my channel, I appreciate you clicking on the video. Thank you so much. My name is Lynn. This is Passion Heart Tarot. I do hope that you'll stick around and subscribe. And if you guys enjoy the reading or if you just want to give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video, Scorpio. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's coming in before I begin. Just want to take a moment to just wait for the Holy Spirit. Definitely a Leo's presence is showing up in your reading, Scorpio. Are any of you thinking of a Leo or there could be cross watchers? It could be your moon or rising signs even. It's just here. The two of wands and the seven of swords. That is like, mm -mm. I say that because that is like, like literally spirit showed me like a stop sign. The two of wands is like really taking stock of things. Like it's a person who's thinking about their whole world and the path that they're supposed to go down. Thinking about their life from, I feel a very responsible perspective, a very, a very uh, mature perspective and like wanting to find um, where I belong. So it's definitely this energy of soul searching, right? So that's what I feel you guys are doing. But when you have someone that is saying like, choose me, I feel like you don't trust this person. Because it's not that the path is not open. It is open. So I know that it's someone, it's like this energy of someone calling to you saying like, choose me. I want you to pick me. I want to pursue you. I want you to be mine. And I don't necessarily mean that in a possessive way. Although when I see you looking at this person, you don't trust them. There's just something here because the Seven of Swords feels like it's very sneaky and it's like this person's sneaky behavior or maybe even some of the lies that they've told that is like totally blocking the path. So I feel like there's almost a message of advice around Scorpio's energy. If anyone is trying to pursue a Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio, the worst thing that you can do this month is lie to them or um, exaggerate something or like even tell little white lies because I feel like that is really going to taint the way that they're looking at you and it's going to make them really put up walls. That's just what it does because you have these like your love life, the overall energy is like I have these walls up because I'm not, I don't trust. I don't trust and I'm not sure if like the path to you is the right path for me to, to take. So I see you feeling that way about someone, Scorpio. Then I also feel like you have a surprise that comes to you because I know that you have this person around you that's trying to come across as a friend and they want so much more. And maybe that's something that you look at and feel like kind of tricked or deceived by. I feel like you have something, because this is the energy of friendship, and I feel like you have someone who is in your inner circle, because it, it's not just one person that's around you. I'm picking up on different energies, and I'm focusing on this one now. So some of you have this person that is coming across as a friend, listening to everything that you say, um, you know, what friends do. They listen to each other. They have things in common. They express like interests and they take interest in what the what's going on with the other one, right? So I feel like you have someone that's doing all that with you, but for some reason, 
you don't look at them after this as a genuine friend because it's like, oh, I thought you were my friend. You just want, you just start hitting on me and I didn't realize it. That That's what this energy is like. So that's why I feel like anyone who messes up around a Scorpio as far as like pretending or like the little white lies, you know, exaggerating. It's, I feel like it's so much better to just be straightforward with, with Scorpio's energy. That's what I can see they appreciate. Because it's someone who's coming across like a friend. And then when you see how they turn around, like it, it's like it's a 180. They do this 180 um, kind of turn and then you feel like, oh, I trusted you as a friend and, and all that that while you were like scheming on me, that, that's what it feels like. So if, if there is someone who is cross watching perhaps for Scorpio and you are their friend now and you know that you are having feelings for them, I feel like the best thing to do is to uh, be straightforward about it. Don't take interest with an ulterior motive because I'm not saying that you have one, but that's how it comes across as an ulterior motive. And then when you see a queen of pentacles come in reverse, see that's someone who was letting themselves be totally vulnerable, um, but showing you like really who they are, you know, who they are behind closed doors, who they are with their family, who they are with their friends. You know, we all have different personalities in a way, depending on who we're around. We can be professional when we need to be professional. We can be goofballs when we want to be goofballs. And I feel like that's what I see you guys doing, totally letting your guard down when it comes to someone because you you feel like um, you trust them as a friend. And so the Queen of Pentacles is someone who's showing like that sweet, loving, like innocent, maybe even naive side. And then when that energy comes in reverse, it's someone who feels they've been tricked. It's someone who feels like they've, they, um, I shouldn't have shown you what I showed you. So it's like, um, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse has a lot of anger and it's anger, even like inner anger for letting myself having been so naive or trusting. So around Scorpio's energy, whatever the circumstances are, the best thing to do is just be straightforward. Because I feel like I see someone messing up their chance with you, Scorpio, because um the way that you're looking at them and feeling like they lied to you or deceived you or tricked you in some way. And then when you see this energy of like strength coming through, that's a lot of pride, that's inner strength. And I, I just feel like um, strength, ego, uh, pride, anger, it could make you quick to react this way. It could make you quick to become defensive rather than like thinking things through. I feel like it makes you more quick to kind of like get your stinger out, so to speak, than to like listen to what this person has to say. I think you're going to find out um, that someone's like really much more in they're into you definitely into you which i suppose is flattering although you look at it like you you tricked me i thought you were my friend i thought this was like platonic you were doing all these things with me just because you wanted more i i don't i don't think you're gonna like that and i wonder if anyone is is thinking like oh i'll build my friendship with the scorpio first and then like that'll get me in no that's kind of the worst thing that you can do around Scorpio's energy. At least that's what Spirit is showing me. I would not take that strategy when it comes to them because it's going to come across as you ha you had ulterior motives the whole time. Okay, I want to look further into that Three of Cups. There's your Scorpio energy. I mean, it's just here. You could be thinking of another Scorpio or maybe your moon or rising signs. Uh, is Scorpio, but it relates to the change. It also relates to the connection that I have with you guys during the reading, um, but it's the change. 
around, you know, like I was looking at things one way and now my perspective is 180 and it's totally changed. And I don't mean this for the better. I mean, this is like a stop sign. You'll go no, you'll go no further with me. I feel like I can't trust you. I feel like you deceived me. So I see all of this energy around you. Um, so for some of you, it could be, you know, it's like a heads up to you that whoever is coming across like as a friend or trying to be so helpful and supportive. I mean, they are this way because, because they want so much more with you. They do. You know, they're not doing all of these nice things just, just and not wanting to get something out of it. I hate to put it like that because I don't want to make this person look bad. But I know that when you look at them, Scorpio, you feel like you don't trust them after that. And I wonder um, who this who this is, who this makes you think of, because it just takes you, I feel like you're taken aback by it. I want to look at that um, Queen of Pentacles. See, I know that, I know it's, um, I just see the way you feel like you can let this person in, right? So you do let them in. It's someone that you really let your guard down with. And normally that would be a beautiful thing, right? If you knew what their intentions towards you are. See, their intentions towards you, their intentions towards you is, is for you to be theirs. That's, that's just what it is. So I see where you trust this person. I see where you open up to this person. Even um, having very deep conversations with them about things that, that are really bothersome to you. Maybe things that you've kept deep down inside for a long time and like you open up to this person. Normally, like I said, that would be a beautiful thing, right? Because it shows that you 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 can be vulnerable with them. You you trust them enough to open up. But it's like this weird 180 kind of turn because you start to look at them and feel like you were tricked or you were deceived. And it, it's all around someone that's coming across as a friend. So even though I look at this as a love reading, I wonder if for any of you, it makes you think about maybe a, a friend that you're definitely looking at as platonic, right? Um, I wonder if it's you you stumbled upon this reading or came to this reading because you have a message of advice from spirit to like kind of watch your back when it comes to someone who's coming across as, as a friend because something turns with this person and I see you not trusting them at all. But since that's a message for someone here, but since I'm reading for love, you know, I look at this in, in, in the way of like romance. Okay, Scorpio. So definitely a lot of like warnings coming through. Definitely a lot of warnings. And even though you feel that way, it doesn't, I don't know how you'll like look at it after you go through this period, because I see where you, you'll, I feel like you'll totally like cut things off with this person. Because what Spirit showed me at the beginning of the reading is like, it's, mm -mm, it's a huge stop sign. It's like, I don't trust you enough. I don't feel like it's safe for me. So there's a lot of advice around Scorpio's energy, whether it's for you, Scorpio, or maybe someone dealing with a Scorpio, where the truth is the best um, approach with everything. Don't don't exaggerate. Don't tell little white lies. That's the worst thing you can do because it does something to like instantly um, taint it. That's what I can see going on. So there's a, there's a lot of messages to tell you guys. Definitely, um, 
a, just a person that I feel is very supportive of you. And it's a funny position to be in because I know how much they feel you've changed them since being in your presence. I do see how supportive this person is of you. I do see how much fun you have with them. But then I also see when things take this weird turn, how deceived you feel. Okay, Scorpio. So I, just, I feel like your reading is, is just like full of warnings for you guys to... Um, I feel like it's full of warnings for someone to maybe uh, watch their back around a, a platonic friend. And even for whoever it is that knows that they're befriending a Scorpio now with the intention and hopes of like that it leads to something romantic. That's the wrong approach for you to take. You should just like come on as like with a romantic interest. Now I know if this is someone that like you work with, um, that may not be the easiest thing for you to do, but in the long run, it'll be better that you just make your intentions like romantic intentions known from the very beginning because you you don't want you don't want that because I, I feel like I see the Scorpio feeling are very betrayed and closing the path to that person. Okay, you guys, wow, that's very interesting reading. That's what I can see going on. I do hope that you guys found it helpful. I do. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, thank you so much for being here with me, Scorpio. If you haven't already subscribed, I do hope that you will. Leave a comment, share the reading. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you in the next one.